Today, I cannot wait to spend some time with y'all. It's going to be awesome. The things that I'm talking with you today, there's a, a myriad of ways. There's multiple ways that you could use these techniques. You can use them in a standalone piece, which is what something that I've created, or funsies. You could use these techniques in a journal. And I love the process of creating. It's wonderful. It helps me. Now, I'm going to share this with you. I am a cancer survivor. I um, had ovarian and uterine cancer, and I am a survivor from that. I sometimes deal with a lot of pain in my body. And so, one of the ways that I like to use as sort of a distraction from that, a uh, diversion technique, is by creating. And I find that once I create, it lifts my mood. There's something amazing that happens when my hands are making something. And I dare say that it will probably be the same for you as well. So being able to have a way to express yourself, even if you don't have the words, it's amazing what visual things can do to help you kind of express that emotion. And today we're going to be working on a fixed image, an image that's, uh, we're going to do some flowers. So this is going to be our, what we're, this is the piece that I created. And y'all, I created it 100% from using magazine. Are you hearing me? Magazine. These little flowers came from magazine paper. What we're doing is we're redeeming this stuff that people send us that, that's just, that we just want to throw in the trash, but we're going to turn it into a beautiful treasure. So I am doing, I am basically taking this color of blue that I love, and I think this would make a wonderful background. And what I'm going to do, I'm not, no rhyme or reason, I'm just going to rip it. I mean, do you see how easy that is? I just ripped it. I love this piece. So I'm going to take it. And then I'm going to get my glue that's there and right here. And I'm going to, ooh, got a little much. And I'm going to put it down here first. And then I'm going to put this, oh, I don't know. How do I want to do it? Ooh, I think I'll do that. I'll do that right there. You see, I've got it down. Now I'm going to go back over on top of it. And I'm going to, I'm going to put the glue on that. It will dry clear. It will not be that milkiness. And just add in color like I like it. And I'm going to show y'all right here. This is what we've got so far. And y'all, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do, if this is going to be the bottom. I don't know which one's going to be the bottom. And that's okay. We don't have to know to begin with now, do we? Now, if you're working in a journal, you, you probably will. But if you're doing a standalone piece, you can do it any which way you want. And I, I finished this one up, okay? And because I kind of want to let that dry a little bit more, I'm going to move to one that I've already done before but there's the one that we that we worked on there it is okay well now I'm just gonna switch it out it's just want to figure out what side do I want to be the top and the bottom so I'm gonna do it like this simply because we got a little bit of a darker down here and there's more lighter tones and I just actually like the the construction of it I like the way that that looks but the, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to show you our reference photo, okay? This is our reference, and so I am looking to create my vase that I want to do. Because I'm working on a smaller scale, you can see the two. This one's an 8 by 10 and this one is not an 8 by 10 I don't really know what size this is. I am going to do a different technique. I'm going to take my trusty piece of paper, and y'all want to know what it is? An envelope. What? Yes, it's the inside of an envelope. Are you kidding me? I just love that. I'm going to cut this one, and I'm going to cut a shape as opposed to tearing it with scissors. So I'm going to just cut me a little shape. And I am going to be, I'm going to try to be aware of scale. And that just means how big I want this to be in relation to uh, the whole picture. So, oh, I think that's going to do. Okay. That's sort of wonky. 
<laughs> That's sort of a little wonky. But a little wonky never hurt anybody. Okay, never hurt one person. Okay, so that's gonna be my that's gonna be my vase. Look at that. It's again still a wonky. That's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna this is this piece. I'm gonna hold it here, and because like in our reference photo, I have it's almost like this is wallpaper or I don't know what it is. It's just whatever I wanted it to be. Because <laughs> that's the beautiful thing about being an artist and about creating your own work. You can just decide. So I'm gonna float this a little bit. But here's the deal. I'm not going to glue it down first. But I want to get it so I can start thinking about my flowers. And I can think about what's going to come, what's going to be in this. The way floral designers do it, florists and stuff, is they actually come in and they build um, their floral arrangements by putting greenery in first. Kind of like structure piece. I like this one. I think I'm going to come in and I'm going to use my scissors on this one. I'm just going to give me some structure. I'm just kind of, I don't know, come in and like cut that in half. Yeah, just whatever. Again, it's whatever that you want to do. But like I just made that, it was a little big, it was a little wide, so I just, whatever. And, and see how that has that like little thing, that little shape? Well, you know when you have a floral arrangement, things kind of go off to the side, and that's wonderful. Love is if you think about it, you don't see any stems in here. If you get real detailed, you'll see there's not really any stems. I didn't do that. I didn't do it on purpose. The reason why is, is that our eye is so amazing, is that if you show it certain things, it will fill in the missing stuff for us. So you as an artist don't have to worry about getting every single detail right. Yeah, okay, that's gonna work, right? It's gonna kinda cover it. And here's another little tip, y'all. When I do put this down, I'm gonna probably try not to put it dead center. There is something about a piece being just a little left or a little left of center or a little right of center that makes it more interesting, like clearly. But I want to get to the fun part, which the fun part for me is the flowers. It's making the flowers. See how much red that is. How gorgeous is that red color? I could use that red. Now, I'm going to go back to my favorite technique, which is the ripping. And so I'm just going to come in and start. I'm going to have to probably adjust it. But see, I, that's about the size that I've done. That's going to be one petal. I still got some glue right there. And I'm just going to come and just add me a little. There it is. I'll add some more though. I want there to be a little bit of movement in that petal. And so I don't glue everything down like, like I have done everything else, right? Because it just li it makes it a little bit three-dimensional. And I think that, that I'll show you. It just adds so much life. So you see how I've come in. Now I have, it's fully secure. You can see these are, they're not going, I mean, you could rip it, but they're not going anywhere. But I like the ability of that, that little bit of the petal to come away from your main piece. It just, I think it just gives it a little movement. It's fun. Anyhow, so to do that, I'm using, this is a palette knife. I'm just showing you, I'm gonna come in. You don't have to have a palette knife. I'm just, it's, it's my, my tool, my utensil to show you, um, just so that it, it just stays up like that. So see, I did that. I'll just do a little, a little bit more. Once I get my anchor piece down, I like to come and kind of layer on top of that a little bit, let them overlap just ever so slightly. Um, kind of as, well, let's see if I can move that a little bit so you can see a little better. Okay, do you see how I have, let's see, so I'm just kind of coming in, you know, they're stuck down, I just want to make sure that they have, they're flexible. And they're not going to, ooh, see that one almost, did y'all see? That one almost was stuck down. Sometimes I take the end of my paintbrush and I kind of like twist it a little bit. And that just kind of 
I don't know. I don't really know what it does, but it just it just makes it feel good. So it might not do anything, but for me, I just like doing it. So sometimes I come in and just kind of twist it, and it makes it feel a little bit more real. I don't know if y'all can see that. There we go. Um, I want to do a center because every flower is going to have a center, right? Do you see how it's got that little stripe? That little stripe. I think that that will look so cute on that red. Just it, as the center. I'm just ripping it. And, oh my gosh, this is going to make me so happy. Uh, all right, y'all. Let's do this. I'm going to do it just like this. Oh, let's get the ballot. Oh, y'all. Oh my gosh. I mean... Who doesn't need a little stripe in their life? Okay, seriously. Y'all, it's the little things in life, you know? It just makes you happy. I could walk you through making 400 of these, but I'm not going to. Um, because it's the same process. I'll do one more so that we can make sure that we have the process down just so. And I'm probably going to use, I don't know, I'm going to look through my paper choices and see what I want to make. Hey, this looks like my flesh tone almost, but... There we go. That's what we're talking about right there. Y'all see that? There we go. They're about that size. All right. We're going to go a little that way. And I think I might like to have this be down here. Or do I want to do it up here? I think I'll do it down here for now. So I'm going to put it right there. Right in that area. So get my glue. Come right there. This is, again, this is going to be our anchor piece. Yep, we're getting there. Now, that guy, he's a little bit longer. But, you know, he's just different. Okay. And you know what, y'all? I think, yeah. One, two, three. I did five on that one, and I think I did five on this one. And I think I'm going to let that one be done. Um, wonderful rule of thumb as well. Just tell y'all this. A lot of, I don't know if you've heard this, but a lot of artists and creators, we love working in odd numbers. For some reason, our eyes as humans, we it's more attractive to us to see things in, in odd numbers. So I like to do things in odd numbers, if at all possible. It doesn't mean that it's a hard and fast rule, but it's just something that I enjoy. So each of these petals has five. The other thing I wanted to do, let's see. Okay, so we're going to put this little fella. <gasps> do you see, oh my gosh, do you see how it like, <gasps> y'all, it is going over the side. Oh my gosh, I just love when that happens. Okay, and because of that, I think I might be at this point ready to glue this down. It is happening. The little, do you see, if I tried to do that, how wide that is. Now, if you're doing a larger piece, it's all about scale. And so, in relation to, in proportion to what you're doing. So, I, I want to try to make it about that right there. We're going to make our deckled edge. Okay. So, I'm going to try. Let's see. Yes. That's working beautifully. Okay. So, I love that now. Okay. I'm, I'm just trying to get it where I think I want to have it. So, yeah, I like that being about right there. So I'm going to make sure when I take my little piece here to start my stripes, I'm going to make sure that it all kind of all goes to the same, around the same spot. So I guess I could go ahead and glue it as well on here. And um, let's see. Do it right there. Yeah. We'll That'll be that. my first bit of my stripes going on. Yeah, we're starting to create a little bit of a pattern there um, with our stripes. And probably, if I were going to continue to finish this for this, I would add maybe a third. So, that is the process of building a fun little magazine inspired and magazine using the magazines or as I like to call it junk mail. It's like a junk mail flower. 
one of the things that I kept telling my students was, the more you do, the better you become. And that is true. We all start at the same place. I don't care if people have an innate ability to draw or to paint and it just comes to them. They all had to start at the same place. And that same place is not knowing a whole lot. <laughs> Is the more you do, the better you become. It, I, it has been a joy to be with you. And so there you go. Make you some fun art today.